Hi everyone, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, we'll be learning how we can annotate our computer vision related data with the help of RoboFlow platform. So let me show you guys. So I will go to my screen. So as I already showed you, uh, uh, we can use RoboFlow for uh, actually, let's say different different computer vision related tasks. Even I also showed you how I usually refer RoboFlow to let's say learn new technology, right? New technology inside computer vision. Then I told you, I will also show you how we can uh, annotate your data with the help of RoboFlow platform. So let me show you. So for this, just try to visit RoboFlow.com. And here, first of all, you need to create an account. Okay, if you don't have the account, please try to create an account. I already have the account, but I will do, I'll just try to sign up with the account. Okay, so guys, uh, I already signed up with my account. Now what I will do, I'll just create a new project here. Now you just need to select the project type, whether it, it is an object detection project you want to do, whether it's a classification or image segmentation or key point detection. Even I think some more project is there. You can see uh, image captioning is also there. Semantic segmentation is also there. Now let's say I want to perform something called object detection. And for this, I want to annotate my data. I'll select the object detection. Give the project name. Let's say I want to do license. Okay. License plate detection. Okay. License plate detection. And here you can give the annotation group. So I'll only give the license. Okay. License plate. Because I want to detect the license plate from a car. Okay. Let's say this is my annotation group. That means annotation label. Now simply I'll just create a project here now the next thing what you have to do you have to upload your data here and to upload your data simply you can drag and drop your data so let me show you so let's say i'm having some of the images here uh, so you can see these are the car images and inside this image you can also see the number plate of the car so what i will do i'll just simply select all the images and drag and drop here okay i'll just drag and drop here so automatically it will upload in the platform okay now simply i'll just click on save and continue now see it is uploading the image in the RoboFlow platform and easily we can start the annotation here. Let me show you. See here you can annotate your data with the auto labeling tool, but auto labeling tool it's a paid one. You have to take their premium subscription, but if you don't want to take the auto, auto labeling, what you can do, you can also start manual labeling. Okay. So in case, let's say you don't want to uh, spend more amount of time to annotate your data, you can use their premium subscription and you can start auto labeling. You can also uh, hire actually RoboFlow team okay, to label up your data. For this, you can select this particular option. So I'll go for the manual labeling. I'll click on the manual labeling here. Now it is asking, uh, do you want to invite any teammate? Let's say you have uh, multiple teammates in your team. Let's say you want to invite some more people to annotate with you. So you can also invite them okay, with their email address so that they can also collaborate okay, with, in this particular annotation. I don't want to invite anyone. I'll just select my ID and assign myself. Now you can see these are my unannotated images. Now we'll start the annotations. I'll click here, start annotating. Now see, you will get this kinds of window. Okay, this kinds of window, you have to select the bounding box because this is the object detection actually annotation format. Now select it and try to annotate this number plate. Let's say this is the number plate. And here you can select the class name. Let's say this is my license. So I'll simply uh, save enter. Okay, now I'll go to the next image. Then I will annotate. Let's say it's not visible, but somehow I'll try to annotate. Now again, I'll go to the next image. This is a number plate. Now I'll go to the next image. So that's how we have to complete for all the images. Okay, you have. Not so this annotation is not good. What I can do, I can simply delete. And again, I can start the annotation. Hmm. Then I'll click on next. Annotate. I'll go next. So there is no license plate, but somehow I can see some of them. You can also annotate multiple object. Okay, it is also fine. So guys, I'll pause the video and I'll complete all the annotation. Then I will show you what you can do. So guys, as you can see, I al already completed uh, for all the images. Now simply, uh, I'll just go back. So there is a back button. Just click on go back. Now you can see you have annotated all 30 images. Okay, now add those uh, 30 images to the data set. Now here, you can automatically perform the train test split. Okay, that means train validation and test split. You can also increase or decrease the size. Let's say I want to keep this size only 70% data for the training and 20% data for the validation and 10% data for the testing. Okay, you can also increase and decrease the size. Okay, it's up to you. So I'll keep the default size. Then I'll add the images. Now see, uh, it is done. Now you have to create a version of the data because let's say uh, you want to add some more data later on. You can also create a separate version of that. So I'll create a new version. Now see here you can also perform the pre-processing that means if you want to perform resizing operation auto oriented operation you can also do but as of now i'll just try to continue you can also perform augmentation let's see if you want to perform augmentation technique on top of the data you can also do it okay i will continue 
then you can create the version. So guys, see my data is prepared. Now simply what I will do, I'll try to download the data. You can select the format. So in which format you want to download the data, let's say I want to download in YOLO V9 format. And I already created one uh, tutorial guys in my YouTube channel, how to use YOLO V9, okay? How to uh, do the custom training and all. So you can check out this video if you want to learn how to train the YOLO V9 model, fine. Now you can select the zip file and download this particular data. So download has started. Now let me show you the data. So guys, as you can see, after unzipped, you will get your data. So here you will get a different, different actually folder, train test and validation. Inside that you will have the images as well as the labeling. Okay, that means your annotation file. You can see I annotated in the YOLO format. That means YOLO V9 format and is the uh, annotation file. It's a TXT file and inside that you have the coordinate point as well as the label. Okay, so that's how with the help of RoboFlow tool, RoboFlow annotation tool, you can easily annotate your data. Okay, you don't need to inst install any kinds of any other tool. So there is a tool actually we usually use called uh, label. Okay, label IMG. So with the help of label IMG also you can an do the annotation, but you have to install this particular tool, okay, in your system manually. Okay, and again, uh, it's a very, very old implementation. You can see around two years back, actually, they created this product. So sometimes you will get the difficulty, okay, and everything you have to handle manually here. So that's why what I feel like uh, using RoboFlow annotation tool, uh, it would be very much easy for us to annotate our data. Okay, that's the idea. So yes, uh, I hope you like this video uh, and you learn how we can annotate our data. So please try to share this video with your friends and family. So thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you next time.